الله أكبر الله yourself today and we hope that you can learn a lot and also I want at the end just to, to thank thank you very much for inviting us all here today and a big thank you to Finsbury Park Mosque who stood up for tolerance and inclusion in society and on the media over the last few days when it's been so important to do so drinking tea together is far more effective than pouring concrete to build walls to keep each other apart better services and better uh, a better management in this century. So by just coming here and seeing what the mosque, you know, what happens in a mosque, how do people pray, what do they do, what kind of activities are held in the mosque, uh, those are sort of more specific questions. Obviously, people are welcome to ask any bigger questions about, you know, the the the, the role of women in in Islam and in mosques, or whether just generally what Islam is about. Why is there so much uh, association in the news between Islam and terrorism, and what are the realities out there? So. Really, no question is, is uh, off boundaries, so everybody's welcome to ask questions, and uh, hopefully by doing that, more engagement, better understanding, less ignorance, less fear. Yeah. Yeah. We've done this one project which is backed by the mayor. Um, you don't have enough Muslim families at the moment to help. So we're, we're happy to do a campaign to bring awareness around. Um, it's a group of men and women, which is of the leaders of mosques uh, uh, around. Uh, Finsbury Park Mosque specifically is a very important landmark mosque because in the past it was run by people who were extremists, people who were spreading uh, fear and hatred. And so by looking at the mosque, how it's changed over these past 10 or so years to a really inclusive, outreaching mosque, uh, which is very much community-based, is something I think very important. The work the mosque does is with the young people, because that is the future of our country. Um, so the work that we do uh, about the environment, so there was a workshop last year to get the faith communities to, to try around. Um, every Thursday we have um, feeding the homeless, so homeless. A lot of the information here has shown how much overlap there is between uh, respect for women and women's rights and, and uh, respect for the elderly and all of those things. It's so important. So I think, I think complacency with accepting what might be different is, is the real challenge. And, and it doesn't take that much really to get out into the community and meet people and, and just, you know, find out wonderful things about your neighbors. There's always good comes out of bad, you know. So Trump presidency, I see that as a positive thing now because look, I feel all of us are united. It's just bringing us closer together. Like all these marches and protests, you know, people are sticking up for us actually, you know. Where we didn't get that before. So I mean, this I feel, believe, you know, it's bringing us closer and that's exactly what we need. We need to be close to each other. You know, we need all the communities to be, you know, close to one another and understand one another. Because that's how you get a blissful life.